All right, everybody, I'm out here with the Tozo Q4040. I just wanted to see what this was like outside. Let's turn it on. There's a lot of sunlight out here, so it's hard for me to see if I'm getting the calibration done in there or not. Nice flip. Nice third rate. Oh yeah. I knew this was a good one. This is just like that other one I had. I just haven't flown it in so long. that I don't remember the name of it. Shows you how old I am. Oh yeah, this is a real good one. We gotta thank the Andre for hooking me up with this for 10 bucks. <laughs> I think the other one I bought was like 20, 25 or something like that. It's blowing it back to me pretty decently because it, the wind is blowing in my face, so that's why it's rushing back to me. So I got to turn it a little sooner. See how it's like floating as it's starting to come this way. Yeah, the wind is definitely affecting the performance of it, but it's still a great. Uh, it's still a great flying quadcopter yeah the winds a little bit too stiff for this thing right now but hey you know it is what it is Yeah, it's fighting the well. Oh, yeah, it's starting to kick up good now. Okay, because I'm losing control of the thing now. Because the wind's so bad. Oof. You see, it's like full pitch forward, and it's still, it won't even go forward. It's just treading water. Can tell you the range on this thing is not that good because I was losing the bind a couple of times when I was out there. So I'm gonna say the range is you're gonna have to keep this thing within 50 feet for sure. There's the beast right down there.
Yeah, the gusts of wind are uh, hampering the performance of this thing greatly. So, I mean, I'm just going to wind up giving this thing away anyway because I already have one. This is just the rebrand. I have the original. All right, I'm just going to hang out here and hold, let the battery run out. Woo! There, the wind just died down to nothing just now. So now it'll pretty much stay still. See? But the light's flashing, I don't want it to fall in that puddle of water right there and ruin it. Okay, I'm bringing it down because, uh, yeah, so you knew that was going to happen. I think I lost a prop too. Well, what I noticed right there is when that light started flashing, it didn't get that bad. I got, I can save it. Only the, actually it didn't, it missed the water completely. The prop did fall off. But what I did notice there is that, is that once the uh, low, low battery warning started to go off, is that the, the control um, was starting to lose, uh, the knack on there so it wasn't uh whenever you would move the, the controller you know nothing would happen so it just started drifting back this way and then back that way and then it just lost complete control and then died down to the ground so oh well it is what it is so that's the end of that i'll go clean it up and wind up sending it out okay <laughs> I don't know who's gonna get it. I'll spin a coin or flip a coin. Okay, guys, there you go. This thing actually flies excellently, but right now it's a little bit too windy. So, yeah, it's good. At least I was able to dodge that little puddle. That's the main thing, right? And no, uh, there was no damage and it didn't get wet, so. No big deal. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.